Hello and welcome back to another Gaming with Killatia. Well, today we are reviewing Tales of the Borderlands for the PC, Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. Developed by Telltale's Games, the same people behind the Walking Dead series, the Wolf Among Us, and my personal favorite, Sam and Max, they did a fantastic job crafting a story that fits well into Gearbox hit franchise. You play at Reese, a hyperkin employee who is on his way to being the top dog of the corporation until your arch rival, what was his name again? There it is, got the job before you and demoted you to janitor. Now you're gonna steal his upcoming deal and try to outdick him. We steal his deal. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. You also play as Fiona, the con artist who just wants to make an honest ten million dollars by selling you a fake vault key. Hey, she's a con artist. What did you expect? But when the deal for the vault key goes terribly wrong, Reese and Fiona are basically well. Screwed. If you have played The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us, you'll be right at home with tales of the Borderlands gameplay. You know the you'll occasionally have four different options to uh, choose from to react to a certain event or to a character's questions. It should be around here. And sprinkle in between these are action-packed quick-time events. Now I know some people would have preferred a traditional point or click adventure game over this style of gameplay, but I still found it to be a very satisfying experience. War does not compute what is it good for. The story itself is told through flashbacks, so you get unique Oops. perspectives from the two protagonists in this game. For example, in one scene, Reese is making a heartfelt speech to get this deal going through, but through the eyes of Fiona, he's on, begging man. like a little bitch. <laughs> my only real concern is I don't feel like my choices are making a big enough impact on the storyline. Now granted, this is only episode 1 of a 5 part saga, but I would have liked to have a little bit more oomph in my choices in this first episode. Overall, I give Tales of Borderlands a solid B. Fans of the Borderlands series and fans of Telltale's games in general will enjoy the unique perspective on the hit franchise. This is Akil Tia signing off. Hope to see you next time.